I love me a good top 10 list, especially when we see purple on that list. Not Minnesota Vikings purple, though, but Baltimore Ravens purple. In the top 10 list, we're getting ready to go over from PFF. It is the top 10 running backs going into next season. So, who's going to be number one? Who's going to be number 10? And who's going to be everybody else in between? Well, let's get started. Fresh off his new contract. With the San Francisco 49ers, he is Mr. Do-It-All. He's a running back. He's a wide receiver. He, he, he just does everything for the 49ers, and that is C. Mac Run CMC, Christian McCaffrey. I forget that that's Ed McCaffrey's son, that receiver who played for the Broncos. When I realized that, I said, man, I am old. But anyway, Christian McCaffrey is number one. You think about him, you think about the way that the 49ers run their offense and, and the situations that they put him in in order to succeed. Yeah, I, I, no problem with that at all. I get it. CMC number one. Very, very productive running back. Very, very high paid. The highest paid running back in the league right now. But, yeah, I, I completely get it. So, shout out to him for being number one. Number two, Derrick Henry. Woohoo! That, wow. Wow. I, I did not think he would be that high on his list. I ain't mad at it. I didn't think he was going to be that high on the list. I figure somebody like maybe like Saquon Barkley or something, maybe Bajon Robinson, maybe Chubb, maybe some other guys will be ranked higher than him on this list. I ain't mad at it, but I just didn't think it would be there. But then when you look at it, Derrick Henry being the number two back heading into next season in the NFL, I think the NFL is looking at a couple of different situations here. I said when the Baltimore Ravens first signed Derrick Henry, I do not think that it is far-fetched to think that Derrick Henry could get – 17 at least 17 Russian touchdowns when I first said that some people thought I was crazy some people thought what 17 Russian that's a lot it is a lot but think about this please last year is Derrick Henry better than Gus Edwards I'll let you decide that but Gus Edwards last year he had 13 rushing touchdowns 13 and I'm about nine times out of 10 percent sure that 10 of those came from five yards or less 10 10 of those came from five yards or less meaning the offense moved the ball way down the field and Gus Edwards held with that a lot and then Gus Edwards they finished the job he finished the job and I and I really appreciate that appreciated that about Baltimore Ravens offense last year they did a lot of no-nonsense stuff when they got to the red zone when they got to the goal line they like no we ain't getting fancy we ain't getting pretty we ain't getting cute we straight up the gut don't play no games Thank you, Baltimore Ravens. Now you got Derrick Henry, so you can do that even more. But you think about that. Gus Edwards had 13 rushing touchdowns. Why wouldn't Derrick Henry be able to duplicate that? And not even duplicate that, but exceed that. Why wouldn't he? Especially when the Baltimore Ravens, they wanted him. They wanted Derrick Henry while they had Gus Edwards last year. They tried to trade for Derrick Henry while they had Gus Edwards last year. It obviously didn't happen. And now they invested financially into Derrick Henry. So they got all the reason to use him that much more than Augusta Edwards. And Derrick Henry is somebody who's established. I remember all throughout this offseason, we kept hearing about all oh, the Baltimore Ravens, they're going to sign a running back with some pedigree. So we knew that they wanted to sign somebody who was like that and who had been one of them guys before. They brought in Derrick Henry. Boom. We got it. So with him being who he is, the Baltimore Ravens ain't got no choice but to use him. And you, you cannot miss him. You can't, like, forget about him. John Harbaugh or Todd Munkin, they ain't going to be able to forget about Derrick Henry. I mean, the dude is a giant just sitting on the sideline. He looked like a slim offensive lineman. The man is huge. So with, with Derrick Henry, yeah, he will be a focal point uh, of this offense. But for the run game, obviously. But, and then, uh, again, the, fin the efficiency, I think, is going to be crazy as far as the touchdowns. The yards, I think he'll just, just crack maybe over 1,000 yards and get close to it. But I think with Derrick Henry, they are going to – they're going to use him for sure, but I think it's going to be more preservation for playoffs. I think that's when they really, really going to let Derrick Henry do his thing. So, again, I can see him – Getting close to barely over a thousand yards this year. Now I know some people are gonna be like, "Oh, that's it! You only think you get maybe a thousand yards? That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing because I think another reason why he's number two on this list. Uh, then there are a lot of other really good running backs on this list, but I think the reason that he's number two is for another reason, and that's because of everything around him. We talk about this all the time with the Titans. 
there was not much around him all those years, but he still continued to produce. He still continued to put up numbers. So that plays in the Ravens' favor because now there's a lot more around him that people got to worry about. Lamar Jackson, Zay Flowers, hopefully Rashad Bateman, Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely. Uh, then there's, there's other running back, Pat Ricard. Pat Ricard blocking for Derrick Henry. That's scary. That's a scary sight, man. That's a real scary sight. But you you got so much more around you, and that should make Derrick Henry's job easier. So actually, that could play into him getting even more yards. We'll see. But Derrick Henry is in such a great position as a running back. That's why I think that they have him ranked so high. Because again, this is the top 10 running backs going into next season. So this is based off of projections. This is based off of expectations. So Derrick Henry being so high, yeah. I get it now that we said it out loud. Going into it, I didn't I didn't see it, but now I see it. I see the vision. Number three uh, is Jonathan Taylor from the Colts, and he should get his guy uh, A off at team back, Anthony Richardson back from injury, so that'll be a real nice thing to see. Uh, number four is Nick Chubb from the Cleveland Browns, and hopefully he can stay healthy this year. That was the only thing that held him out last year was him being hurt. So, And we know that he is definitely one of the best backs in the league uh, for sure. Uh, Bijan Robinson is at number five from the Falcons. Saquon Barkley, he's at number six from the Eagles. That that should be a lot of fun to watch, uh, especially when they play the Ravens. Ooh, that's – ooh, <laughs> man, we love NFL. Uh, then we got Brees Hall from the Jets, a sleeper. He's a sleeper for sure. Uh, and then Aaron Jones from the Vi – I forgot Aaron Jones went to the Vikings. He went there early in free agency too. Why wow, that seemed like that was so long ago? Well, yeah, Aaron Jones is nice. That was one who, when he got cut from the Packers out of nowhere, it was after they signed Josh Jacobs, then they cut him. Because I know a lot of us will think, oh, man, they're going to have Josh Jacobs and Aaron Jones. Packers said, nope, bye. But when he got cut, I know a lot of Ravens fans thought that that could end up being a move that the Baltimore Ravens would make. And it normally would be, but they were waiting for something different uh then jameer gibbs from the lions that boy is nice that boy is nice and, and he makes jared Goff's job easier too and that's what you want from your running back and then last but certainly not least number 10 josh jacobs on the packers wow that's it's pretty low pretty low especially for josh jacobs josh jacobs is nice man i like josh jacobs because he can do everything he obviously can run he can catch but the best thing about him he stays healthy he is an extremely healthy running back. He does not miss time. And best, best ability is availability. So shout out to him for that. And I know the Ravens, they were interested in him at one point. It obviously didn't happen because he ain't no Raven. But yeah. So anyway, shout out to Derrick Henry. Shout out to PFF because this is one of their lists that I can really get with. 